Hello, in the video coming up, we will look at two essential commands that you should be using on Linux Chrome OS. So with Chrome OS, you have the ability to install Linux. If you haven't installed Linux, you can have a look at my channel and there's a video on how to install Linux. It does depend, not all Chromebooks will have the capability, but I have had quite a few comments about I can't get access to this. So in settings, you would go there and you go to advanced and you would go to developers there. And it would, it's here, Linux development environment. So if you don't have this option here, then your Chromebook or Chromebox doesn't um, support Linux. And if you can go in here, it should be all okay. But if it's not switched on, you should have the option to switch it on there. But look at my other video for more details. Okay, so with Linux, there is a command prompt. And if you're used to using Linux, I, I'm, I'm not an expert on Linux, but I'm getting a little bit better over time. But if you're used to using Linux, you most likely know how to use it really well. But if you're not, you might not be too sure about the commands that you should be using. And there's two commands that you should be using on a regular basis. So again, I've got videos to show you how to install a Linux App Store. If you want to install Linux App Store, take a look at my channel. But I have Linux App Stores here. And the reason I use Linux app stores, they're very similar to Android app stores. They make it much easier to install programs. And this here, you can just simply search for programs. But you'll also see that there are updates as well. Now, sometimes you will see that there's updates and you try to update them and it doesn't work, for example, which you get. And I will try this now. And sometimes it works fine. Other times it doesn't. And it's the same with the other app store that I've got as well. So I've got that app store and I've also got this app store as well. But this one is all up to date. But a few weeks ago, it wasn't all up to date. Now, I will do update all and see if it works. Yeah, so you have no authorization to execute this operation failed to obtain authentication. Not too sure about what that is, but we'll come back to this. And it, this is sort of relevant, but it's not completely relevant to what we're going to be doing. So when you're using Linux on your Chrome OS um, computer, you should be making sure. So I'll just go into terminal. So to open your terminal, it, it's there, or just go to start menu find linux apps and look for your terminal there and from here just go into penguin and that will open up your terminal like that so i will expand that for you like that okay so from here what you would need to do if you're not used to using it i appreciate it's daunting but the but daunting there's two commands that you should be using on a regular basis and when I say on a regular basis, there's no harm doing it, say, once a week. But I'd also do these commands if you're ever going to install a new program. So if before installing a new program, I'd also recommend you use these commands as well. So the first one is sudo apt update. So that's S-U-D-O space A-P-T space update. Now, some people put sudo apt get update. From what I've read, they're very, very, very similar. So I don't see the point in putting in an extra word. So just use sudo apt update and it does the same thing. So if you do sudo apt update, what that does, you hit return. And then that looks for any updates, but it hasn't actually done anything. It's just looked for the updates. So you then need the second command, which will then install them updates. So you do sudo apt update first, and the second command is sudo. And what I'll do after this, I'll show you how you can do them both together. So sudo sudo space apt space upgrade. So U-P-G-R-A-D-E. Again, some people put get upgrade, but it's not necessary. You can just put up upgrade. So sudo apt upgrade, hit return, and it will say, do you want to continue? Press yes. And this may take some time, wait for it to go through. 
there's a progress bar at the bottom there. You can see it's on 62%, nearly finished. And that's it, that's done. So they are, I would say, are quite vital to use. So if you're using Linux on your Chromebook, always do this. Not You don't have to do it every day, that's fine, but at least once a week. And if you're gonna install a new program, definitely do this first as well because you want to make sure Linux is all updated and everything's ready. But the first thing you need to do is do the sudo apt update. And the second one after that is sudo apt upgrade. And because they're both, neither of them work on their own as such, they both do different tasks, but you'd always do a sudo apt, up, apt update followed by a sudo apt upgrade. So you can do the two com commands together if you want to. So to do that, it's sudo, again, apt update, that would be the first one you do, then space, and then it's the at. So on, on my computer here, I'm just looking at on my Chromebook, it's the same, might be different where you are, it's the shift and the number seven key, and that's at. And then another one, at, you might call it something different depending on where you are in the, in the world, so I'm sorry if that's the case. So sudo apt update space and then at at and then or oh, and and sudo and then sudo apt upgrade. So what that does, putting them two there, it runs one after the other. So you hit return, do what it needs to do, and it's done everything for you. So it's done the let me just make sure that's done what it should have done. Just check it. I just want to check something, make sure that's done what it should have done because it didn't hit um, a return key. It's preparing, building, building, unpacking, unpacking, locating, upgrade. Hmm. Not sure whether that's done. Let me just check something. Sudo apt updates. Sudo apt Great. Yeah, that's fine. I, I was concerned it didn't do it because it didn't, usually it comes up with a, a continue press yes, but the reason why it hasn't done that on that occasion, because I've just done it earlier. So that's fine, it does work. So again, I'll show you, if you want to do them both together, it's sudo space apt update, and then and, and space, and then sudo apt upgrade. So do them both together about once a week or definitely when you're going to be installing a new program and you will be much, much better. But using Chrome OS, you shouldn't have many problems because it's all updated to what it needs to be. So I'll just exit out of that and I'm just gonna quickly check my app store because I'm gonna see now, before when I did this, the um, updates has actually disappeared. So doing that did all the updates for me. Um, so I'm just going to go and check. So here, as you can see now, it's got up to date. So where before I had them ones which were showing, and when I tried to update them, it didn't update them. It said there was an error. There was no way of getting around that. By doing them sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, it's fixed this problem. So if you ever have a problem, where you've got problems in using a Linux app store. It doesn't matter what app store you're using, and it isn't just for when you're using the Linux app store, it's for when you install other programs on Linux as well. Those two commands are absolutely vital. So make sure you start using them. Don't be worried about using the command line. As long as you're using commands that you know what they do, you'll be absolutely fine. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.